We find little babies like this all the time at the farm. Oh, Doc! Good morning, everyone. Say good morning, girls. They are waiting for their breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys what I feed the dogs. So, um, just enough food like this. Just, I literally pour it in there. And then I get Benelli Fresh Pet with fresh chicken on it as well. And this is what I top Delilah's food off with. So she eats the hard food and she gets a little treat and it makes her eat more. Correct, girls? Are you excited? Lila already knows to sit pretty. Sit, 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 Lila. Good girl. And then Benelli comes over here and I just feed her right there. And then sometimes I have to separate them. I'll put Benelli on the bed if Delilah gets too excited and tries to eat her food. But that's the girl's breakfast and see Benelli is so bougie when it comes to her food. I'm here at the farm. It's really early in the morning. It's about seven o'clock and I am getting ready to start taking care of my animals at the farm. I am sitting here in my truck. I'm just trying to get a little warm before I go out there and freeze my butt off. But let's get this started and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, um, and turn on that post notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video. But let's get this animal feeding morning routine started in this cold weather. Blues, do not do it. Look, he loves to squirrel hunt. Toulouse. I'm not gonna let you squirrel hunt. Okay, good. Look, Tilly's over there too. This girl's like, haha, I got away. Let's go, babies. Good morning, Doc. How are you, buddy? You hungry? He's like, morning. So if you guys have watched my night routine, you guys know that this is the Borders feed room back here. Um, I always tell you guys, Doc's mom pre-makes his grain, which she does, so here it is. She uses Pro-Force Fuel. She adds Smart Flex Senior pellets and Smart Life pellets. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop his green because he gets really impatient in the morning. Um, so tea, I'll be right there. And the cat's food's usually always eaten up too because we have raccoons that we feed around here. And, oh, oh, Doc, come on, be patient, buddy. I know, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. So that's Doc's green. And then I'm going to go ahead back to the back feed room and make Sassy and Leia's green because Sassy and Leia both have cushions. Actually, hold that thought. Let me get my cat food. T, say hi to the camera. Let's get the food. A big scoop of kitty food for Toulouse. Enjoy. So back to what I was saying with Sassy and Leia. Um, they get a lot of supplements and stuff. Let me show you their board real quick. But I have it down to a T, so I'm going to make their grain, and then I will, oh look, who showed up? Jackson, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I put in their grain and everything they get, and the reason why they get the supplements. Sassy gets a quarter scoop, so you can just eye it like that. And then Leia gets a half And then in their supplements, so this is Leia's grain. They each get a full little scoop of this. They each get a full scoop. And these horses both don't sweat and have cushions. So like I told you guys, they get a lot of supplements. They each get these pills. I honestly don't know the names of them. Their moms have covered the pill bottles. So, but Sassy and Leia, Leia gets one and a half of these, and then Sassy gets one. So, do that. They each get, I know this is a vitamin E, a scoop of this in the morning. They literally have so many supplements. It's like vitamins and everything, these horses. And only two more supplements left. MSF, a joint supplement for both of them. And they get sand here. We just started the horses on sand clear. Ever at the farm <clears throat> for a seven days. So sand clear. Oh my gosh, it's hard to open. My fingers are numb. 
full scoop each. Last but not least, horseshoe secrets. And this is to keep your feet strong, but yeah, it's a lot of stuff for these horses. Now that their grains made with all their 20 million supplements, let's go drop it. Sassy and Leah, they're both like, bring me my food. We're waiting on you. I'm gonna go ahead and drop Leia's grain right in there. And then Sassy, come on Sassy, let's go. And Sassy's grain goes right here. Come on, let's go. Sassy's like, uh, what are you doing? Walk this way, mama, come on. Let's get breakfast, come on. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. So Leia, I had to take her blanket off because it was cold last night and she's flipped. So I usually drop the green for her at Sassy. I'm like a tilly maker. I know, she's coming right up to the top. Excuse me, excuse me. Good girl, Leia. Very typical girl. Yeah, now the girls both have their green. We have a little helper. Hi, Sassy. But let's get started to the next animals. So I'm gonna make Henry's grain and Coco's grain, Kojak. Henry gets three full scoops of Pro Force Fuel in the morning, and then Kojak gets a full scoop, which I'll drop their grain, then bring my beautiful boys in. So Henry and Kojak, I'm gonna just go ahead and make Henry's grain. Two, three. And then I go drop their grain first prior to them coming to the stalls because it's just easier. And then their breakfast is there right when they get their stuff. So Kojak stall, one full scoop. Henry's. All right, and let's go grab the boys. Come on, who's going first? Who wants breakfast first? Who gets there first? We'll go ahead and grab Ko. This is Kojak, the guy that gets a full scoop of green in the morning that night with a little tail because when he eats it up. And then look, he gets so excited about his green green. Voila! You're gonna eat? He knows the drill. Right now we're grabbing Henry. This is Little Bit's baby. Okay, I am so handsome and I know it. He's a farm yeah. favorite. All right, now you did what you did to Auntie Jackie yesterday. Say every day, Mama. Okay. You see my baby spirit and Bam. Say hello. Good morning, Mama. I'm gonna make their grain. They get a full scoop of Pro Force fuel, and then Spirit and Texas get this every. Well, Spirit gets this every day, Equinox, and then Texas gets this Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm gonna make their grain. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Full scoop for them. See those guys over there that are begging and waiting? That's a little bit in Ranger. A little bit is my big Clydesdale. She is getting two scoops of Pro Force Fuel and Ranger gets a handful. And then over there we have Texas and Droopy and they both get, Droopy gets a half scoop and Texas gets a handful. Just cause they both have, well, Texas has supplements that he needs to take. So I'm gonna make their grain. So I'm walking over to Texas and Droopy. I give half of this scoop to Texas and half that scoop to Ranger. But I'm gonna feed Texas and Droopy first. And then on my finger, I have a little Equiox pill for Texas. He has ring bone, so this helps him um, with his ring bone and makes him more comfortable. And then I have the feed bag for Droopy that Droopy loves. But let's drop Texas's grain. Go ahead and put his little pill in there. And then a little bit of grain for him. If he lets me give him more. Oh, bud. 
I'm really droopy, so good with this. All that fierce like this. Now we'll come back here. Don't make you look like a liar. And bam, he's got a sheet bag on. Let's go drop a little bit in Ranger's grain over there. So I usually slide this under here for Ranger. And then little bits, there's a drill pretty well. So I feed her in the ring because Ranger will steal her grain. If not, he bullies her, believe it or not. And then Ranger just gets his grain there. So these two guys are done. Let's go on to the next group. Be free, go be free. Keep me at me. So I just took my jacket off and Doc's blanket. And now we are walking Doc over. God, he always does this every morning. Stop. See, he always does this every morning. He's like excited to get out, but little does he know he has this weight on him, so he's not gonna be able to jump. So I just turned Doc out over in that pasture with Texas and Ranger. I put a little bit back in the stall, and now we are going to go to the bunnies. There's two there. There's one, two right there. They're all just waiting for their green. And they pick up the horse's scraps too. Scoop of bunny food for the bunnies. Coming your way. It seems like they have a lot of food, so I'm just gonna top it off a little bit. And the other bunnies are over there eating speared and bam's grain that was left over. Just check this little baby bunny out that I just found. I hope he's okay. He looks like he's scared. Hopefully nothing attacked him. But how cute is he? You all right, buddy? Are you in shock? Be cool. I'm gonna take him to Heather's. But oh, goodness gracious, guys. We find little babies like this all the time at the farm. Look. I know, I hope he's okay. He's just sitting there. I wonder if he's cold. I have the bunny. Oh. I have the bunny in my lap, and like his shoulder on the left side feels like it's been punctured or something. And unfortunately, with Toulouse, Toulouse loves to bunny hunt, and like we've tried to stop it. And it's just unfortunate, but whenever we see bunnies like this, I grab them and I take them to Heather's house. <laughs> Sorry, Heather. But Heather has all the bunnies. Jackie's in the car and we were driving the bunny mm -hmm. to Heather's. So Heather can examine it because she's literally the bunny doctor. She's the bunny doctor. The bunny doctor. We are on our way to the bunny doctor. So these are things that happen when owning a horse farm or just a farm in general. We always have animals that need help or we find them and we take them all in. And the bunnies are, the reason why we have so many bunnies is that someone dropped the bunnies off and they all got out and then they started breeding and like it's really hard to control the bunny population. Um, we do have predators that come after them, right? Like foxes yeah. and stuff, but we try to control that. Um, but yeah, it's unfortunate that little babies get hurt like this, but I don't think he's too bad. I think he could be just in shock. So we'll find out and stay tuned for it. I'm bringing, Heather just said that her bunnies all just got out as you guys can see them over there. Oh, but, happy. but look, I don't know if he's like in shock or something, but Toulouse had him, but mm -hmm. feel a side. You see that side of him or something? I don't know if it's like a big... All of Heather's bunnies got out, so <laughs> she is over here taking care of them. Look at, oh my gosh, how cute. And then look, you guys remember little Hatch. She has Hatch and Finn and her chickens. I mean, look at her for bunnies. Oh my gosh, you literally do have bunnies running all around. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, you have your own farm. This is Heather's morning shift. But how cute are they? And look how cool this cage is. I mean, oh my gosh, so cool. They got all the bunnies from the farm. So, and you guys have seen some of on my channel, but they're all happy. We dropped the bunny off and Heather is going to doctor it. it doesn't look like it's like bad or anything. She said, you could just be in shock. Um, so I feel like that was a good job. High five, Jackie. High five. And how cute is our bunny house? Bunny Oh, the bunny house. They're so the cute. Oh my God. So I'm going to spread the fly predators. These keep the flies down and they go all around and they're hatched. Um, you guys can't really see them in here, but there was a lot of them moving around. Let's see, see kind of. But I lay 40,000 fly predators a month around the farm and I just sprinkle them everywhere. In the barn, it's about every 150 feet you have to do it but they keep the fly population down. And I would definitely recommend people that have horse farms to get these. Cause like you can see them on my arm. They're not bad bugs. They're actually like 
super hardworking bugs and it's really weird that I know so much about them. It's only because I have a farm. I just found out Larson's is having a customer appreciation day. Um, and they do great heydays. So I had to run down there to go pick it up before it got crowded. So during my morning routine, this is literally like what happens, curve balls get thrown at you and you have to go do things. But I'm still doing my morning routine. I'm gonna drop this big Larson's box. I'm gonna be doing it all by myself and it's a thousand pounds. Here we are pulling into the farm. Um, and I'm going to drop it in the big center pasture. If I can get around here. So this morning we have found a bunny, brought it to Heather's. I ran to go get hay and now I gotta jump out and open this gate. I swear, literally having a farm is so much work, but it's so much fun. And thank God I love doing all this stuff. But look at all the bunnies. Hanging out. As always, literally the bunny farm too. I obviously can't do this and load this by myself. I can usually do a 500 pound one and push it off, but this is a thousand pound one. So what I'm gonna do is ratchet strap it to this tree, but I was just backing up to make sure I have enough room. Um, I dropped two blocks in a day. I like to keep a thousand pound block of alfalfa in each horse pasture. So the horses always have something to munch on with grass. It is I put this strap around it and you wrap this around the tree and then I'm gonna drive off my truck and it'll pull up. And voila, that is how I unload Larson's box. Oh no, my strap is stuck. Ah, oh my God. Look what I just almost got my hand stuck into. Holy crap, that would have sucked so bad. Those are like really bad ants. They will like, oh my gosh. And I literally just put my hand in that. Oh, thank God. I didn't get stuck on that. Okay, we're gonna do this, so watch. Because the strap is stuck, I'm gonna have to hook this up to my hitch. Let's see if I can go on this side. We'll go around so I can save myself a little bit of a walk. Can't reach, nope. But this is gonna suck too. Oh God. They're bad. Ooh, I hate ants. Holy crap. Ah! Make sure they don't get on me. Ugh. Jesus, Louisa. So look how many there are. These suckers will like bite through this strap too. It's crazy. I'm trying to kill them. So I can, I'm definitely not even gonna touch that. Screw it. But I gotta back the truck up and pull that strap off. So we'll leave this here in the bed of my truck because I'm telling you, I pull out so many people all the time from being stuck. But that is a, that is how you unload a Larson's block when you're by yourself. I just got done dropping Larson's box for these guys in this pasture, but part of owning a farm, the work never stops. And I put 2,000 pound blocks in here because a little bit in range are turned out permanently. So you guys can see them fat and healthy and happy and with their little winter coats. And Delilah's just been coming along with me during the morning. Look at my little goat pilot. We have to drive through all the pastures while dropping Larson's box and she is exhausted. She's like, I had too much fun chasing the horse's tails and getting scared from the goats. Okay, so, wow, it's super sunny right now. Uh, we have this shelter over here that covers the goats. We feed them hay in two different areas. So we leave this hay under here and we throw it over to them. As you guys can see, they're right there begging. Can you see them? And then we just collect a lot of this hay for them twice a day and throw it over the feet. And they get great as well. Oh, what are you eating? Don't eat booby doos. They're all fat and happy and healthy, but I just throw hay over here because they beg. And I'm over here checking them out. But right here we have Carmine, Buffy, Rainbow, Baby Girl, Pickles, and Kramer, and then Deuce is somewhere. And then Delilah saying hi. And I will drop them grain later. So that pretty much wraps up my morning routine with all my animals. I'm just sitting here with Benelli right now at the house. Um, 
we have a lot of animals at the farm as you guys can see in that video um if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for delilah's update because it's our month anniversary tomorrow hi baby and look how big she's getting she's literally like almost triple the size of, of Benelli, hey, and she loves to go after Benelli's tail, which drives me nuts. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and turn on that post notification bell so you guys are notified every time I upload a video.